You know, when he started his career, <laughs> television wasn't even broadcasting in color yet everywhere. There was an Eisenhower in the White House, and the number one show on TV was a show called Father Knows Best. Now, this father clearly knows best not only how to raise kids, but how to raise the standard for everyone around him. Communist guerrillas today attacked 1,000 U.S. infantrymen near Saigon. The Americans held their ground and killed at least 100 Viet Cong. In a few minutes, this house will be the scene of a great deal of activity as movers come in and start the people who live here. Good evening. Mrs. Mamie Eisenhower tonight expressed her gratitude to the multitude of sympathizers who've appeared along the route to the funeral train. Of course, uh, Walter Cronkite in the CBS Evening News is coming up next after tonight's editorial, and then, of course, the second round of the ACC. This is the newest and perhaps most unique jet fighter plane in the world. I guess I was inspired in high school when I saw Chet Unley, David Brinkley, Walter Cronkite, Eric Severide, and Edward R. Murrow all on television every night. And I think what happened to me is that I really became passionate about this business because it was an opportunity to really, really connect with people. And when you get right down to it, I just love people. The Environmental Protection Agency says it may cost as much as $50 billion. This is Eyewitness News Tonight. Good evening. St. Louis is a winner's town tonight, having won at baseball in Cincinnati and winning at hockey at the Chucker Dome. I think John Wilson is standing by live in Atlanta, and I imagine, John, that the anticipation is growing. Yes, indeed, Cheryl, and something... And everybody who was a part of it in the early days, the golden age of television news, we all knew we were making history at the time. We would like to take this time to officially welcome you to Eyewitness News. We are, are you very... About? Right here, oh. John Wilson, Eyewitness <laughs> News. You're... Because everybody watched television. Everybody watched the evening news. Uh, what we said on the air was important. You know, anchoring the news is the easiest part of what we do. Sitting here, reading scripts, reading off teleprompters, trying to get through ad libs, uh, all of that is relatively simple. What really is the workhorse of this, this profession is being on the scene, is being where it is, and talking to the people, and corroborating what they say, and how do you know what you know, and the only way you do that is to get out, is to, and be part of it. And this is where the stage is set for a showdown between striking miners who want to work and those who don't. Good evening, I'm John Wilson reporting live from all of this Gasparilla insanity from Franklin Street Mall in downtown Tampa. This is Kohimar Beach outside Havana, Cuba, if you can call this a beach. The most distinguishing feature of the Forrestal when she joined the fleet in 1955 was her sheer size, 1,076 feet long. I want to be in a police car. I want to be on a fire truck. I want to be in a jet plane. And I've done all of those things. You only find out who you are, who we are, who Tampa Bay is, what the face of Tampa Bay is when, when, you go, when you're there. And I can't tell you how important it was when I started to go to all the civic clubs. I've probably spoken all of them, in addition to all the nursing homes. Mary Kay and I performed in probably all of them, well, most of them. Uh, but that's when we found out what was important about Tampa Bay. That's when you find out where the heart of Tampa Bay is, in the clubs that service the community. That's why it was important for me to go out there. I don't look back at my career as something to, that stands out in such a big way, except perhaps to know that we're here every night telling people what they want to know. Oh, there have been incredible stories, been able to go to unbelievable places. Uh, Normandy was probably the most stunning trip, but there was also Romania, and there was Panama, and there was Washington at the White House. Uh, but nothing is more important than, than where we are right here in Tampa Bay. All of it comes together for me. I don't have anything that in my mind that really stands out as extraordinary other than just what I call daily service of telling the news.
we got everybody here now. Kelly, you get yeah, floor. Absolutely. You know what? I, I, those clips are amazing. Very They're special. It's, yeah. a, it's hard. Yeah. It's exciting. But also, I think we missed a few because from now on, you're going to be able to spend a little more time on your phone. Oh, and watch one? this. <laughs> Coming up. Oh, that's you. I'm so, <laughs> so excited. I forgot what I was doing. I love you. Up next. <laughs> place that is supposed to honor the word truth. The uh, Judicial Qualifications Commission put him on trial, and they included people who were. And in last place, the iPhone 5S. Oh my goodness, John, what are you going to do? Well, I've been using, I've been using this phone, and I'm having a lot of trouble here. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> February is here, and you know what that means. <laughs> it's <laughs> Florida State Fair right. time. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is silly. <laughs> the best part about that clip is that's the first time you ever were not able to make it through an entire VO. Yes. I am so sorry. I apologize. Uh, well, we, well, we're not we have a lot more clips no, we, we can't do. show. We do. We Just do. warning you. And we have another surprise. You may remember, it was about a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago. Do you remember the story that Kelly did on the ice cream lady at Publix? You remember the story? Yeah. Yeah. And I think you, yes, we came back and then you had a, uh, you had a quick little comment. Said, well, if they ever get a Blackberry Swirl, then that'll be great. Welcome, John Wilson's Blackberry oh, Swirl. Just for you. Oh. They, they did that just, just for you. And look, oh, are you kidding? That. Here we go. That special event. That's fantastic. Now you get to try that? this. Oh, yeah. 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 Can I do this now? Yes. Yes. Right yes. Can, do this now? Yes. can we all share the spoon? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's only John Wilson could get that. Yeah. I guarantee and, and you. Public's told us they've never yeah. done it before. So, uh, uh, yeah, and we have more to take home for you. Uh, How's that? Yeah. See? Uh, That's a little more. more. There's more. Truck out better front. stock it in your, your local just, grocery. Just keep on holding on to that. Chip, Paul, I'll let you start. Uh, parting words for daddy -O here. Well, you know, I, th I think the thing is, is that wherever you go, people always ask, you know, what is Mark like? What is Kelly like in person? What is John like? And the thing about John is pretty much what you see on TV is who he is. Right. This, it is what it is, and it's fantastic. There's no fakeness. It's all real. Uh, and you're the same person sitting here that you are sitting on the news set, which is, I, I think, is the ultimate compliment. It is. Yeah. It is. Are we related? So yeah. 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 <laughs> Wilson Delegato. There's a lot of, there's a lot of correlation yeah. there. <laughs> My long lost mafia Thank member. You. And Chip, you too. Well, you guys, it is. You guys it's, have been uh, a team for it's, it's sad to see him go. At the same time, we'll have a lot more room in the studio because this isn't just for John. These people come here every night. Right? Uh, so, and it, it really is appropriate. That he brought, it really is appropriate that he brought his family because we are a family. Yeah, and I yes. always tell people if you could sit in the studio right through the commercial breaks and hear the discussions of Patrick's latest movie or music or arts, or we can be serious, we can be silly. And you know, this is the one who starts it all. It really is just enjoyable to walk out here. And you will so be missed because Thank he's you. never met a stranger and you know that I was thinking just because I've been thinking so much about it well we've been through two decades of stories the huge stories hurricanes five presidential elections all <sighs> that eat good. that ice cream and enjoy of it but I but I the most important thing to me is you've been my friend he's gone through my marriage my kids his kids, the success of his children, his grandchildren. I know, it's a fantastic Things that you're doing, I mean, it is, and, and you're always going to be a part of our lives, always. And we have Mark now, see, so there you go. And I get to call him dad now. Yeah, I haven't been able to call him dad for 17 years. I know, I know, so it's, it's a beautiful thing. All right. I see the clock on the wall, on the arm and on the hand has um, reached this point. It is time. In fact, the word sometime is now. Thanks to Kelly for letting me sit beside her for so long, for all these years. And to all of my colleagues here in uh, Chad Fox 13, in news, promotion, sales, engineering, production, it takes a lot of people, not just us here, you know. Thanks to all the management folks, especially Jeff Maloney and, uh, and John Hoppen and Cynthia Armstrong and all the rest at Fox 13. And of course, the corporate management staff as well at Fox New York on Avenue of the Americas. That's Jack Abernathy, and that's, uh, that's Dennis Swanson, and Shari Berg, and, and an incredible team there in New York. I have to tell you all, all of you here, that this is a dream come true for me, to wind up my career in broadcast news at one of the uh, great television stations in this country because of all the great work that all of you have done for so many years, and to all those people who worked here for many years before this moment in time. But to the most important people, there are, uh, 
our loyal viewers here. You, uh, you and I have gotten to know each other a little bit here and my family, haven't we? I want to thank you for letting us come into your home. I want you to know that I will treasure these, uh, these warm and generous sentiments that you've expressed here for the rest of my life and for many years to come. And my family's here tonight, as you can see. This is my real support team, my three sons, Paul, Mark, and Patrick, who grew up here, three daughters. We do not call them daughters-in-law. They are daughters. That's Angela and Jackie and Dagmara, who gave us six incredibly uh, talented grandchildren, Landis and Jack, Lindsay and Logan, Cassian and Cal. <laughs> <laughs> hold it down, hold it down. Frankly, frankly, though, we all wouldn't be here without my number one best fan best critic and fashion consultant. That's Mary Kay. <laughs> <laughs> My bride of 50 years, she gave up a professional singing career to teach music, marry me, raise a family, and continue her own career in church music, which she's done for 50 years. So I, I've called her for many of the world's <laughs> hotspots, by the way, Saudi Arabia and France and Romania and Panama and Moscow, where I had to schedule a day in advance to make a call, and from Cuba. That's when she didn't know I was going to Cuba. That was an interesting call. You are where? <laughs> Havana. <laughs> I couldn't tell her until I got there. The good news for her is that she won't have to call the newsroom anymore to tell me to straighten my tie. <laughs> she called a lot. Now, a few notes for colleagues here. Chip Carter, I want you to keep bringing your wonderful dogs to the TV station on a Friday <laughs> night. That's a touch of the real world in an otherwise fantasy land here. Paul Delgado, whatever you're doing to keep hurricanes away from us, keep doing that and keep that sunshine coming. We wouldn't be our sunshine state without my friend Paul here. And Kelly, Kelly Ring, you keep that wonderful smile for it's going to open doors for you forever. We love you. We love, love you. you. And my son Mark, uh, Mark, as you get ready to step into this uh, thing here for good, I want to thank you for being you and for being here. And you have been more of an inspiration to me than you may know. I don't know of any other father and son TV news anchors. Uh, one more thing, Mark. Keep your tie straight or somebody <laughs> will be calling you from the house. <laughs> the Wilsons are going to keep on doing what we do. Now we can do more of it. The boys have families to raise and careers to pursue. Patrick, the big movie star here, has more movies to make. Paul would like to be making big movies. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, wait till you see him in Big Stone Gap. He is a scream. We'll, we'll get that next year. And uh, Mark has big news cast to anchor, and he will keep a Wilson in the anchor chair for a long time. So it's done. Deep breath time. Au revoir, that I heard in Normandy. Auf Wiedersehen in Germany. Hasta la vista in Cuba. And in Moscow, it's Das Vidania. Until we meet again, for we surely will. Thank you for watching, and on behalf of all the folks here at Fox 13, I'm John Wilson. Good night and farewell. There we go, bud.